So we're ready for Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. versus Jorge Arce for the WBO Super Bantamweight Championship. Let's get the formal introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy My Lennon Jr. Right, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner, wearing silver trunks with blue trim, fighting out of Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighed in at the junior featherweight limit of 122 pounds with a record of 56 wins, six losses and two draws. He has 43 wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the WBO number one junior featherweight contender. Here is the longtime WBC light flyweight world champion and the former WBO junior bantamweight champion of the world, introducing the popular Jorge El Tradieso. Purple trim, fighting out of and representing his home of Bayamon, Puerto Rico. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 122 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 20 wins, no losses, one draw with 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making the third defense of his title. Please welcome the undefeated WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, introducing El Hijo del Orgullo de Puerto Rico, Wilfredo Vasquez. versus youth and skill. Yeah, that, Here we go. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's going to be a, a, a major key in this fight tonight, experience. You know, uh, Vasquez with no amateur. Nice looping right hand by Alfredo Vasquez Jr. Arce. Oh, beautiful left hook. Hey, and that hurt him. Football. Vasquez Jr. Football. holds hey. on. Yeah, Arce when... said once he gets inside, this kid is going to have problems with me. Right hand. Arce. Stalking Vasquez backing up. Vasquez, that's really surprising. He had him kind of against the ropes, and those are kind of wide looping punches, but they did get in for our sake. That left hook from outside is not one you expect to land for him. Well, you know what? Uh, Vasquez Jr. relaxed there for a minute. Yeah. He thought he was out of the way. But you see, Hart actually is not the classic fighter, but he just gets the job done. Oh, nice shots by Vasquez, though. Now, <laughs> Arce saying, bring it on. He's nothing that's not colorful. Nice jab by Arce. A left hook lands for Arce, right hand. Another right hand. Arce wants to make this a brawl, and that's what he's doing in the second round. Both men are landing big shots, and both men now landing big body shots. This is a fun fight already. Arce, an action fighter, one of the most popular human beings in all yeah. of Mexico. And you can see that right hand. In the third round, Arce takes the left hook, keeps coming forward, delivers double oh, left hook. Wow. <laughs> this is some fight. Beautiful. He's been in these firefights before. They made a fight with Hussein Hussein years ago. Harry Anders caused that cut on the side of the nose. There it is, yep. And uh, that's probably the spot that caused that cut. But it didn't deter Jorge Arce because he kept coming forward, even in the face of those counter punches by Vasquez and was able to land the left hook. You see the posture as, as Arce attacks, but can you stop him? Manuel uh, Montiel, of course, the father of Fernando Montiel, his trainer, uh, who um, is the man that works with him. Emmanuel Montiel Jr., the fat man, yep. stitching up Jorge Arce. He gets a little work, doesn't he? Come on, Ludo, come on, come on, come on, come on. Both fighters exchanging left hooks. Ludo now. We are going to see what the young man is made of because he is in there. And Vasquez is one, one of those fighters that can box, but at the same time, you see he has a big heart. He don't oh, mind standing in him. there, but I think that's to his detriment tonight against a fighter like Arce. Oh. Vasquez dropping Arce Four. with the left hook. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. 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 What an electric ending to the round. Who has presumably more power in his right than his left hook. Landed a beauty right on the point of the jaw. 
the right hand was was lazy coming back from Arce and he got nailed with it. Now, the good news for Arce was it happened literally in the final seconds of the round. Now, here's the right hand. It will be very low. Oh, he throws an overhand right, keeps it low, gets banged with the left hook. And luckily for Arce, as I said, Nevasquez looked like he stunned Arce, but Arce throwing almost 300 punches. This is just a very action fight. Look at that action on the inside. Now, I'm not sure Vasquez really wants to be there, Antonio, but you pointed out he's got a warrior mentality. Look at him. Wow. Ooh, both men landing. Giving and taking. Alfredo Vasquez Jr. Jorge Arce. Great inside fighting. I mean, this is what makes this type of fight hard to score because yes. both fighters are giving as good as they take. All right, uh -oh. You know, we put, I'm putting the keys to victory for Vasquez to land. getting in and Arce's been throwing good punches and Vasquez throwing those combinations both men throwing very very good shots Arce not wanting really to be against the rope but he's countering well off the rope level oh, good hooks by both men wow and Arce still delivering the pressure Vasquez might, Vasquez might be hurt here I mean, it looks like his legs are wobbled a little bit, and he's not firing back like we're used to seeing him fire back, Gus. Won his last fight, though, in the 11th round, the TKO. Boy, Arce. Ivan Hernandez. Oh, Arce with the jab. Backs up Vasquez Jr. He's on the ropes now, Arce. Continuing to move. Throwing shots. He's squared up on the ring rope. Look at his legs. He's squared up. He cannot deliver any power from that position. He has to get that back leg back. Breathing out of his mouth as well, Vasquez Jr. Now hold on to us. He didn't have any legs by the end of that round, Al. So the 12th and final round for the WBO Junior Featherweight World Title. It looks like it's close, guys. The one point win for Vasquez Jr. right now, but you know, with close. That, I had it two rounds ahead of before that round. I have this oh, dead even. Arce, okay. he's got him in trouble. Arce has him on the ropes. Combinations. Arce, left hand, right hook. Vasquez Jr. holding on. Cortez right there. Why won't he hold? Arce, he needs to hold him. Joe Cortez doing a good job of letting them fight through this. He sees Vasquez punching the towel. Oh, the my. The towel. No. Wow. Wilfred. Vasquez Sr. throwing the towel on his son. And Jorge Arce wins the title here in Vegas. Charming and nice young man. The father loves him. He's not that. He's not been a professional forever. You see the concern in the corner. That's his father talking to him. And again, Al, no amateur experience. A, a experienced amateur would have known to grab and hold at least until the referee broke him up. And look at what Lofredo Vasquez Sr. is saying to his child. Father, son, the disappointment in the son's face, but the wise nature of the former world champion. Again, love stepped in. And it, it, I, I, I've been there, and he's tried to protect his son tonight rather than letting him yeah. go out on his shield if he had to. And you never know how those scorecards would have read. Well, that, I know. guess that's the key question. You can't, you certainly can't denigrate him for one, not wanting to see his son get punished, but there was a water bottle and a towel also thrown in that will get Joe Cortez's attention. There you see, they are trying to get this fight stopped. 
That was Vasquez Sr. that threw the water bottle in also. And Tuto Zavala, his junior, his...